Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival of This, and we are turned to Call of the Wild, the Angler. So we started doing some of these uh, fishing challenges or map challenges last episode, and this one is taking a little bit of time to do just because I can't seem to get anything bigger than a silver rank gold mouth or silver. Yeah, I'm only getting silver rank largemouth bass, but I need a gold rank one. So I'm going to see if maybe trying something. Let me try hook size three. I wonder if that'll be what we could use. Like going up for a larger hook size and maybe that'll help us with trying to snag a bigger one. Oh, I thought I was more in the water here. Yeah, I'm going to try these fishing challenges. I haven't looked up to see what the reputation does. I figure if you guys in the comments want to show off what you know, that'll be a good chance for you to do that. Or next weekend I'll look it up myself and see, but... We'll try to get a little bit more of that through these challenges and just keep going along. I... Again, it just feels kind of weird, because I thought I would have seen something requiring them already in the game by this point. Like, I do have a few hours in, and though I spent a lot of it just trying to get the species tutorials done, I have been getting, like, gear in the store and that to keep us going through and trying for larger fish. There we go. That's nice to see off bat, but I don't know how big that'll actually be. Oh, well, there's a nice little jump of it. Okay, come on in. Let's see how you look. All right, just another silver. There's a gold. Yeah, so it seems like depending on your hook size, that might be your key indicator for how big of a fish you'll be catching. Like, I'll try using this again and see if we can get another goal, just in case. But the big thing that might be, like, limiting what size of fish you'll get on the line might all come down to, like, the hook size for the lure you got. Oh yeah, this is a good sized one. We actually have it strong enough. We have to increase the drag. You know, that means it's a fair size. Yeah, we've got it stuck, so it's not taking out any more line. I'm able to pump and bring it in. Slowly but surely, so this might be another gold-sized. And yeah, I can see I'm slowly bringing the line in. It is acting up a little bit, but I think we'll get it in all right. I think it could even be my mouse is acting up with the right button, or the right click side. Don't quite get a full pump in. There we go. Yeah, we're bringing you in. And then with this, I think I got a good kind of idea for how the configuration works when it comes to like a line and rod setup. I can talk with a little bit more confidence in how it all pieces together for what you might be going for. Oh! You are not what I was expecting to bring in at all, but it does kind of make sense why it stayed so steady on the line. So there was a channel catfish. Okay. Yeah, I gotta admit, was not expecting that of all things. But that might be because this is a crankbait and it's scraping right along the bottom to try to trigger those to strike. Alright, I don't think I need up to 50% for the drag anymore. At least not until we get whatever else is in this area on the line. I'll snag, or try to snag one more fish and then I'll talk about that. I don't know if I'll get lucky, because we are bringing it in pretty close now. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a surprise landing here. Like, I didn't even think I'd find a channel catfish in this area. Okay, yeah, looks like nothing on that. So, you know what? I'm going to try for uh, the Super Popper. I think this is like the biggest hook size you can get for it, or one of them. I just want to see if this will actually have anything strike it with how big it is. Because I don't think I have any other lures that have a hook size of two or zero. So I might even think that this won't see any action because it's such a big hook size, no fish are, like, compatible with it. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like there's anything interested in this sucker. I'll try one more cast out. Yes, I think it is that the hook size is too big for anything in the area, and that's why nothing is even trying to come at it. So that is your big limiter for what fish might try striking. It's good info to know. Yeah, let me just speed it right up, because nothing's coming for that. Okay, so we'll use the inventory here to kind of make sense of it. So your rod is basically going to determine your max line strength right there. And you have to make sure the max line strength matches up both with line capacity as well. Like this one, the max line strength can be 6 kilograms. But the line capacity here has to be 0.3. So this line is a strength of 6 and diameter 0.32. So that's why... Hang on a moment, if that's 0 0.3, how is this line on that? Cause like that's 0 0.32, this is supposed to go to only 0.3. I, okay, I am confused now. Cause I thought that was like how the configuration worked. Like if I say, let's just do spin that, like that one. All right, that's the big bait casting one. Okay, so why can't I use that one on this? Is that because it's... Oh, right, I don't have a... That's a spinning rod, and the other one's a bait casting rod. Yeah, if I do the spinning, I can't put on. Oh, okay, that's why that one's not working. Well, you know what? Let me take these back to... Ah, uh, to do fast travel to the outpost, just turn these in, and then take a look at how I'm sitting at the shop with, like, what funds I might have available to use. Hey there, Sophia! Rods! We sell them! Welcome to Taylor's Tackles. Busy like a bee. Or a bluefin, famously known for being busy. You okay. homed in on that like a missile, and bang! Explosive and impressive. Yeah, there's Counter those rounds. done. Okay, so I'm at 1800, so I am getting closer to, uh, the Worky Ticket. From all the way across the pond, it's Wright's Worky Ticket, a doozy of a mid-tier tournament quality bait caster with a... And yeah, like it goes up to 7,000 for a rod. I'm not sure what spot you got. And then the reels can go up to 2,000 there, or 4... God, I do hope you get points in a bit better through things, but yeah, the next objective is definitely going to be for the Worky Ticket. But... 
Again, got the reputation. No idea what it's used for. Sure you don't want to buy more? Or... Okay, but we got one last thing here. Catch a diamond rank at the location. Okay. Lake Corundum. Uh, let me track that. And then there is another one here. Okay, that one's a little bit further, so I'll just stick with this one. But what is Lake Corundum? Oh. Okay, they're both up in that area, so I might as well hit them anyway. Uh, best way to do that looks like just this one. See, I'll call the Jeep back, take it for a little bit of a drive. And, it, yeah, I can just follow this one. Although, I wonder if I should try getting a few more baits. Let me try switching out a little bit of my gear. Hey, it's me, the shopkeeper with the great deals. You've come to the right place. Like, that's hook size 8. I don't think I'll use the 7 anymore. I don't think I'll use the 6. I think I'll keep to those. I don't want to spend too much money, because again, if I want to get the better rod, Why I need to save the money up for that. Game? Let's hop in and head over to that area. And we'll just plunk a waypoint right there. And go for a drive. All right, that's a hiking trail, so I don't want to go along that. I want to try keeping to this road as good as I can. Now, if it's a winding... Oh, lordy. I was going to say, if it's a winding road, I'll just go straight along the middle of it, but nah, I can't really do that with a boulder in the main, in the way there. There we go. And we're going along, okay. Yeah, we want to go over this way, keep on this one. Another winding road. Oh, this really winds. Speed limit 35, and I'm going getting towards double that. This was not meant for mouse and keyboard. You have no way of really controlling the speed unless you want to just tap that. And this, I think, was the spot that it wanted us to come out to for the tutorial. Okay. Got some air on the bridge. And we just gotta keep on and going. Now, if I used a hook size 4 to get the, uh... The gold largemouth, I think if I use the hook size 2 crankbait I still got in our tackle box, that'll be enough to get it. Should I hit the lookout tower? Well, I mean, not literally hit it, but let's drive up there. We do have the vehicle with us, so... Might as well if we're in the area, right? Knock that one off of our uh, to-do list. Yeah, a beautiful parking job. Okay, let's head up and just knock this one out. And that is Lake Corundum up there. Oh. I do hear a little shimmer effect, so there's probably a collectible or something to snag. Yeah, I see it right there. Another little coin. Scouser's dollar. Okay. Well, let's survey. They were promised the right to hunt within the park. That was a right that was forcibly ripped away from them. It's one of the many reasons it's so important to me today to do everything we can to work with their descendants. Okay, still talking about just like... Uh, the treaties and that for the area. Whee! And there's no fall damage. Okay, so, let's hop back in you, and see about getting on that lake. In fact, I should try and see if there's a fast travel point somewhere around the lake first. 
just to make it easier on any future visits up here. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is a place to go. Okay, let's... Let me just get to continue along here and we should hit that little spot. Sounds like I ran something over. Something that was alive. But the game is empty for ambient life, so I don't think it's too bad. Let's just get to this little area so that way we know we've hit it. And fast traveling becomes super easy in the future. There we go. That'll do for parking. Yes, yeah, so this is just a trailhead we... Okay, I can fast travel to the trailheads anytime I like, which is good. Oh, and we got a little thing to report right here. Three quarters through. Not many more of them stinking daisies, bud. But a hell of a lot more than Sally has mercy. And a note. I... There might be a little bit to read in those, I'm not too sure, but let me switch out for, yeah, hook size two. We're going to try that for our diamond possible bass here. But it does seem like the hook size completely corresponds to the size of fish that will strike it. So the lower the number gets, the bigger the fish should be. And considering we got a gold on the four, hopefully just a two will be enough to get lucky with a bigger one. Let's hop aboard. And head out a little bit into the water. Nope, you know what, I might as well hit the little uh, weather station thing there too. I can't remember how many of those are left to hit. Probably not a lot, though I don't know since these ones can only be found in the like buys of water. You figured out the forecast yet? I was hoping to stretch my legs a little, but I couldn't read those robots if they paid me. Halfway through, tell me if you get yourself an inkling. Okay. And yeah, here's as good a place as any. Let's toss in and see if we get lucky. Okay, here we're dealing with an okay depth. I don't think it's super, super deep like the other lake we were in last weekend. What it, was it, like 100 meters? It seemed like it was very deep. Surprisingly deep for it. Well, let's just see if we can get lucky using this at all. It could be the case that it is so deep as well that I'm going to need more like bait casting stuff to get enough line out, which will then go down on reeling in. Which I think might be the case because I'm not even straight hitting uh 10 meters yet. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pull in. I'm going to get a little bit into shore more. Oh! I say that, although... That looked like a pretty good-sized fish over there. I don't know if, like, an increased reel-in speed will help get it a bit deeper or not, but we'll try. I can just try, like, doing slow. I'll just try for a little while and see. Yeah, the hardest part is getting that lure in nice and deep into the water to be able to go down more. I definitely gotta try saving up for that next bait casting rod, because that should let us get some very long casts out. I think if we do have a bait casting over the spinning, it'll give us another 10 meters distance? Can't remember how much, but I there was a definitely insignificant difference between the two. 
I just gotta slowly bring her in. And then try again. It might even be worth it to... Maybe I'll even go back up to the four. Just in case. It might be again, I'm trying to do it in too deep a water that I can't quite get low enough or get into the deep stretches I need for it. Yeah, so that goes to about 33 meters out. We'll have to see what the bait casting, like combining the best gear I've got will do. There we go. Okay, so I think I was using too big of a hook size. It seems like nothing was really trying to strike on the two, so maybe I just gotta try the four for a bit and see what comes in with it. Uh, it looks like another largemouth. It's a good size, it's actually taking line out from us. So this might be a silver or a gold size. Let's see. Yeah, there's a gold size. Pretty nice catch. And then one thing, the developers, from what I've been told in the comments from you guys, which have been very helpful, is that a big focus is to uh, catch and release. But I still do think that the game could use like just a trophy picture system. Like, so that way, when you get a very nice prized fish, instead of just having a saved bunch of numbers for what the biggest was, you at least save a picture of what it looks like compared to, like, the player model. And then it gets released anyway. Or I wonder if you could even do almost like, say, a mock taxidermy fish. Like, it's more carved out of foam or something, so it's not the actual fish, it's the fish itself. But you do have all of the, like, specs of size and length in that. You sort of say you did catch it, and you could have a picture accompanying it to prove it. And that's just a more animal-friendly way of saving the trophy. Oh, and there was our rod maxed out, so we should have a good chunk of credits in from that. Five ninety-nine. So it seems like it could be that was the level segment and the rod combined. Or it could be the better the gear is, that when it hits its mastery, the more credits you get for it. But at least we are proving that it's 4 is going to get us a gold size largemouth. The diamond, though, might need either a 3, possibly 2, but it could even be... The diamond fish has much more specific requirements to be met for it to be... Like certain time of day, or certain region... We'll just have to see. We got another one on the line. Let's bring her in. Yeah, I think this is... This might even be a silver, because there's nothing quite like the others for a fight so far. What do we got? Silver? Nope. Another gold. It is nice to see that this lure is uh, going up, so I'm going... I'll probably just go and try to keep this and max it out. Actually, what might be kind of cool is if I can keep this and get it maxed out along with a few more credits, that might bring us up to the total I need for the other rod. And next weekend, we can go right to the super bait casting stuff and see how it does. Oh, wow. That was not very long before a strike, was it? Let's see what we got. Yeah, see, I don't think it's pretty... It's not really that big since it's coming in so easy. Probably another gold. I don't even know if the, my gear would be able to hold the diamond a largemouth. I mean, it does handle the gold pretty easily, but... I don't know how big a diamond would be for, like, comparison's sake. Yeah, another one in. Send you back into the water. And a little bit more credits. Okay. Maybe once we get this one hit to mastery, I'll switch out for the next hook size up and I'll just... Or after this fish has landed, try the next hook size. Maybe that'll be more work towards our diamond. But 
a complete stark difference for like changing the hook size. You have like two or three casts with the small with the hook size two, no interest from anything at all. Immediately switch it to hook size four, fish after fish after fish. Yeah, there you are. Come on in, you. Another gold, and there's the mastery hit. 472 on that. Yeah, so the better gear... Uh, again, it might stockpile, but there is enough, so next weekend we'll be taking the big combo out. For now, though, let's go to crankbait 2, or hook size 2. And just try this for a little while and see if anything does hit or not. I don't know if it will. Like, we didn't really get any of the gold showing interest. So maybe only a diamond would hit it? We'll just try a few casts and see to end this episode out. Well, at least we kind of know how that system works in a way. But it could be because of how rare diamond size are probably supposed to be. I see one. I don't know how big that fish is. But maybe it's going to go for our thing. Nope. No, it don't care. Yeah, it might just be a matter of trying over and over and over again. And maybe one of the times we'll be lucky with something striking. Yeah, nothing on that. Well, let's try out that way. And this is... I'd have to admit, I do really like this game. Like, once you get into the fishing aspects and you're not working too hard at, like, specific setups, you just go to spots, try your luck, and see what you catch. Or even these generic missions where it's like, you don't have to have specific gear. It's just... Have fun fishing, really. I have to hand it that the game is one that really sucks you in as you play with play it more. No. Did the skybox just, like, change a moment there? I swear, like, everything kind of flickered a moment. You know, I want to check and see. I know this is like a constant mover to like keep always going with. But could I do twitching with this and try to like even step up? Constant or stop and go. Okay. Yeah, I hear stuff in the water around us, but nothing wants to seemingly be big enough to actually strike this. Yeah, trying to do, like, this using the weird, like, timing bar feels a bit odd. So if I let go, that turns it to stop. Pull in, let go. Pull in, let go. Pull in, let go. It's a little hard to try to figure out the timing for it. It's like, let a bar go. Reel in. Let go. Reel in. Let go. Okay, so that's kind of our stop and go wants to work. I figured I'd just try in case it, like, might be a way to trigger something into striking, but... It doesn't seem like it. I might have just been better off sticking with the, uh, constant. Yeah, I think I was better off just sticking with constant. But it goes to show how, like, dictating the hook size is when it comes to fishing. Or at least to this game.
I went from getting fish after fish after fish to not a single thing even wants to try going after it. <laughs> now, it's not like anything really changed up from the style either. It's just... That completely will dictate what you might have interested. So with that in mind, I think I want to try to find a hook size 3. If I can get that, that might be the sweet spot we need for a diamond bass out here. But then I can get the better bait casting rod, because I have the I have the reel right now. We'll be able to try doing a few things, I think, with it next weekend. But for now, yes. Again, we have a little bit of a mystery that I hope you guys can fill me in on with what the reputation is used for. Uh, we got the credits in, so we've gotten the rod we'll be using. Basically, just have to pick it up. And we got to see uh, quite a few fish this weekend. Mostly the same species, though there were was a little surprise in there with the channel catfish. But yeah, that I think will probably bring us to a close for this weekend's episodes. A nice little relaxing change of pace for winding down after some stuff. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you, yeah, if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to comments right down below. And until I do see you in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.